Hey everyone, Val here, and this morning's breakfast is half a cup of oatmeal with bananas, grapes, and some of my zero sugar Chaboni Greek yogurt. And I'm having that with my glass of fiber drink and my vitamins. And I'm kind of just switching it up a little bit this afternoon. I have lettuce in the refrigerator I need to use up before I go on vacation. So I'm going to have a bed of lettuce with uh, some tuna for lunch with some carrot sticks, some celery sticks, and some raw cauliflower. I like my cauliflower raw. And, uh, and that's going to be my lunch for today. We are heading out... Um, in a couple of days for the vacation so I'm trying to uh, use the perishable items in the refrigerator before we go. You will be watching this video while we are already on vacation. So I wanted to do a pre-vacation weigh-in but post it on Monday, which is my normal weigh-in day. Uh, I will be weighing on Thursday and not on Monday, but that's the best I can do because I'll be on the ship on Monday. So I'm gonna give you a pre-vacation weigh-in. I'm going to eat as, trying to make better choices on the ship because there are some good choices along with bad choices on the ship and there are sugar-free desserts. And what I am aiming to do is keep my sugar intake down. I will be drinking on the ship. I have probably, I'll be drinking pina coladas. And I know they're sugary, uh, but I'm on vacation. And I'm not going to deny that as part of my, you know, vacation, you know, that I take once or twice a year where I do have mixed drinks. Um, and I'm not going to beat myself up over it. And this, is, this journey of mine is not to beat myself up or deny myself what I want to have to eat. Uh, it's about watching my sugar intake and uh, because I of my A1Cs. And it has nothing to do with my weight. Uh, I do give you my weekly weigh-in and I do monitor my weight because... Um, I easily gain weight and there was a time in my life where I weighed 250 pounds. I am at, uh, you know, in the 180s right now. I would like to be in the 170s. My body can't tolerate anything less than 170 because of my bone structure. I'm very big boned and uh, I have had bone density tests done. I have they have told me that I'm above average in my bone density. I have extremely high bone density and it adds to my weight. And if I am under 170 pounds, I look like I'm starved to death. I look anemic, I really do. So I have to be careful not to take my weight down too far, but I don't want it up in the 200 range. And if I don't watch my weight with my body structure, because people don't think I'm as heavy as I am, I can easily creep over 200 and uh, that's why I monitor my weight. So just to make that clear, I am not really on a huge weight loss journey to lose 100 pounds. That is not my gain. I don't, my, my goal, I am not even on a journey to lose 25 more pounds because I can't do that. My body structure won't allow me to do that. Even though I'm weighing in at 183, 185, it's a comfortable weight for my body. I'm just trying to push my body down just a little bit farther uh, so that I have cushions so that when I go on to vacation and I do drink, I have my sugar and I may have some desserts or some ice cream which I don't normally eat. Uh, I am not, I may put on 10 pounds. I may put on five to 10 pounds which is probably what I'm gonna end up doing but it's gonna come off because of I'm going to go back to my regular way of eating and not drinking when I get home. That's okay with me because I'm going to monitor it and bring it back off. The reason why I'm trying to push the weight down before vacation is because we're scuba divers. And when you scuba dive, you have to put on weights. I have to put on 10 to 12 pounds around my waist 
besides my tank and my BCD and, and everything else that I need to put on to dive. And it's going to add another 20 pounds to my body. Um, my knees, I don't want that stress on my knees. So if I can push my body down, which is very difficult for me, to push my body down into the 170s, then I'm only going to be 190 when I dive. I don't know if this makes sense to anybody. I am not on an extreme weight loss journey to lose weight. I know what I can and cannot eat or what I should and shouldn't be eating to maintain and be comfortable with the weight that I have on. Um, I, I don't have to wear the weights for very long. Once you're in the water, you have to wear them on the boat. You have to walk to the back of the boat normally or to the side of the boat and get off the boat. Once I'm off the boat, once you're in the water, you're weightless. So I don't feel the weight at that point, but I still need my legs to be strong. That's why I do my walking. If I had a pool, I'd do swimming because my legs have to be strong enough to be able to swim for, for 40 minutes, 20 to 40 minutes. Um, you basically, when you're diving, don't use your arms to swim. You, you know, I use my arms to take video and things like that, but your arms are not used to swim when you're when you're diving. You basically lose use your legs. You we can either drift dive. Some dives are drift dives if there's a current and you just drift with the current. It's extremely hard to go against the current. I have tried that before in a dive where we tried to go against the current. You, it's basically impossible. You kind of just stay where you are, and very exhausting. Um, but most of the dives we have are not high stress dives. They're basically, we're going at a very slow speed. We're looking at coral, we're looking at fish, we're just enjoying the beauty underneath the water. So, but you still have to be in pretty good physical shape to do it, it is strenuous. So I have to be able to have my lungs in good shape to do the breathing. I have to have my legs in good shape to do the swimming and I have to have my body weight down normally a little bit lower than I would normally keep my body weight at because I have to add extra weights. Now when I'm trying to dive and I'm at 200 and I've dived at 200 pounds before and then added another 20 pounds because you're adding the 12 pounds around your waist and then you're adding the, the BCD with the tank and, and your regulator and everything. Um, when you're adding all that extra weight which is probably well over 20 pounds. At 200 pounds, that's a lot of extra weight. That's one of the main reasons I'm pushing to get my weight down is because I love to dive. And I'm 62, I'll be 63 in a couple months. And I wanna get in as much diving as I can before I turn 65, because a lot of places cut you off at 65. There are not a whole lot of divers out there that I know of that are my age diving. Most people are in their 40s and under. Um, I mean, there still are some old divers out there. Um, some of us uh, retired, but very few. And I've actually dove with a, a gentleman that was in his 70s and the uh, dive team allowed him to do that. Uh, they were a very, very good dive team out of Cozumel. And uh, I love this dive team. We've dove with them a, a couple of times. Um, and I'm sure that if I really wanted to dive after I turned 65, that we could go down there and they would definitely take us out because I know how they take care of their divers and they have very small groups that go out. So with that being said, I just wanted to make it clear that I do track my weight and I do um, track the sugars. And that's why I, I stress that this is a low sugar thing that I've made myself. And I'm trying to now mostly eat whole foods, foods that aren't processed uh, because I know it's healthier and I know what's in it. And I'm trying to regulate the amounts of sugar and oils and stuff that are, are in these foods. That being said, do I need to eat more vegetables? I eat vegetables, and the vegetables on my list that my nutritionist gave me is, uh, it's saying three to five servings a day. Do I eat three to five servings a day? Probably not. I probably need to really work on that. 
um, but it's saying raw or cooked, one cup raw or a half a cup cooked, and it's saying asparagus, beans, Italian beans, wax beans, green beans, beets, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, cabbage, carrots, cauliflower, celery, cucumbers, greens, lettuce, mushrooms, okra, onions, pea pods, peppers, radishes, squash, spinach, tomatoes, and turnips. Now there's some things on this list that I'm never going to eat. I'm never going to eat okra. I'm never going to eat squash. Well, I'm not going to say I'm never going to eat squash because I will eat squash. And I'm never going to eat turnips. Uh, those are things I, I don't like and, and I'm not going to eat them. I, Brussels sprouts, um, if you can find them local, I may pick those up and eat them. That's not going to be my number one. We do like asparagus. We like uh, beets. We eat broccoli. Uh, we eat cabbage. We eat carrots. I always have carrots, celery sticks, and cauliflower. I love to eat all of those three things raw. And I will pick those up and snack on them. And I don't always record them because I don't dip them into anything. I just eat them raw as they are. I don't add salad dressing to them or anything else. Um, so you may not see them on my journal every week because I just put them out as like a little side with my dinner or something and I'll just grab a couple of carrot sticks or a couple, a piece of celery or some, some uh, cauliflower. Um, even Steve will eat those. So he won't eat the cauliflower, but he'll eat the carrots and the celery if I put them out to eat on the side or maybe we'll have, um, whatever it might be and we don't want to make a salad, we'll just put out the, the side celery sticks and stuff like that. Like I said, I don't always journal that because maybe I should because y'all think and I'm not eating vegetables, but I am eating vegetables. I'm just not always recording the snacky ones that I'm not adding anything to because really there's no calories to them, but there is nutrition to them. And honestly, because it's an A1C problem. I probably should write that down that I am eating those. Um, I probably will not never ever, I'm not going to say never ever, but I probably will rarely cook squash because Steve won't eat it. I do cook greens from time to time, but again, Steve won't eat those. So if I cook them, they have to be for me. Steve is not a big tomato fan. I don't mind tomatoes, but they're not my favorite thing. So I don't always eat tomatoes. I do eat onions and I do eat peppers, green peppers, and I do eat garlic. And I think there was garlic on this list somewhere. But um, it's saying to have um, three to five servings of vegetables. It's also giving me my lean proteins, which are the chicken, turkey, beef, pork, fish, shellfish, cheese, cottage cheese, eggs, peanut butter, nuts and seeds, Greek yogurt, and it's saying to include the proteins in every meal that I eat. Now it's saying use very little of your olive oils, your canola oils, your vegetable oils, your margarine, mayonnaise, salad dressing, um, and then the less healthy things like the bacon, sausage, butter, cream, cream cheese, shortening, sour cream, which if I get sour cream, I'm going to get low fat. And if I get cheese, I'm going to get low fat. And, you know, most of, a lot of things, um, the uh, yogurt, the Greek yogurt is zero sugar. So I'm making sure it's zero sugar in it because, again, I don't want to raise my blood sugars. My blood sugars are what I'm watching because I have diabetes in my family. Um, my blood sugar typically runs a little bit high, but I don't want it in the range that it's in right now which is not extremely high, but it's on that kind of like you're in the range going the wrong way, so you need to bring it back down. So um, it's saying the, the other foods that I shouldn't be eating, it's saying three meals daily, three to four servings of carbs in every meal. So at every meal, they want me to have, and three to four, four meals daily, so it's talking about Three to four servings of carbs at every meal. That's what they want me to have on my diet. They're not saying don't eat rice and don't eat potatoes. They're saying we want you to eat that. We also want you to balance that out with vegetables. Okay, so it's saying 
it's, it's saying one carb equals um, six ounces of yogurt, artificially sweetened, or 12 ounces soy milk, or eight ounces of milk. I don't drink milk. So I can have the yogurt instead of the milk. It's saying I can have half a cup of ice cream, a fourth cup of, of sherbet, a half a glazed donut. I stay away from donuts. I have no desire to eat a donut. Or if I did, I would put, I would make it myself and I would know what was in it and have a low sugar. Uh, six vanilla wafers, two Oreos. I have two Oreos on my diet. I can have two Oreos as a serve of carbs because they want me to have three to four servings of carbs every day. A half a cup of sugar-free pudding is a carb. I can have that. A two-inch unfrosted brownie, three graham crackers, three peppermints, five chocolate kisses, candy kisses, one Tootsie Roll Pop, one tablespoon of white granulated sugar. This is okay. It equals a carb. And I can have three to four servings of carbs every day. They want me to have that. All right, this is my chart. It's in my range, okay? I just want to explain this because some people are thinking that I'm eating wrong, but I'm eating according to what my di dietitian or nutritionist s said. She wants me to eat this way to get my A1Cs in line. This is not a diet to lose weight. She specifically said, this is not to lose weight. You are not required to lose weight. My doctor has not asked me to lose weight. I am trying to lose weight because of I'm going diving. I'm going diving in a week. Um, am I still going to monitor my weight? Yes, because if I don't, my weight's going to go up. I tend to be an overeater. I have to make sure my portions are in control and I'm trying to eat as healthy as I can without driving myself crazy. Um, one carving equals an apple, a pear, a peach, an orange, half a banana. Uh, a cup of melon, a cup of berries, five small grapes or cherries, a half a cup of canned fruit and light syrup, two tablespoons of raisins, three prunes or four ounces of fruit juice. And she did recommend that I didn't use juice. Um, not to drink my sugar. So don't drink anything with sugar in it. She said just avoid sugary drinks. Um, and I, do, I don't drink sodas. And I don't drink juices. Um, so I basically drink water all day. Or I'll have tea. I don't put anything in my tea. Just plain green tea. Uh, it may be a flavored green tea. But it's just plain. I don't add cream. I don't add sugar. I don't add anything to it. And then I may occasionally, a couple times a month, have a cup of coffee. If I do, I'll put a sugar substitute in it, just one little packet of sugar substitute, and maybe a little bit of creamer or a little bit of milk in it, but just a touch. I don't put like half a cup of creamer or, or sugar. I, I stay away from those kind of milky products. Now, as far as grains, starches, and, and starchy vegetables, it's saying one carb, one serving is a half a bagel, a slice of bread, a half a hamburger, a hot dog bun, a half an English muffin equals one carb. All right, now it's saying I can have three to four um, servings of carbs at every meal. This is what it's saying that I can have, okay? So if I ate a hot a hamburger bun, I would be well in, in my carbs because beef, and, it, and I have to choose a lean beef. A lean beef is within my good proteins. So I could do that. One large biscuit, five to six crackers, a four inch pancake or frozen waffle is one carb. So if I had two pancakes, then, and I make my pancakes small, I make them myself. That would be two carbs. So I have to stop at two pancakes. I can't eat more than that. Even though I can have three to four servings, but I know I don't want to do that, okay? Um, a third cup of rice or pasta cooked. I can have rice and I can have pasta. It's on the diet that the nutritionist gave me. I can have a half a cup of grits or oatmeal cooked. I have that in my bowl. A half a cup of oatmeal and a half a cup of um, of the zero sugar chaboni uh, yogurt with my banana. 
three fourths cup of unsweetened cereal. I rarely eat cereal, uh, brand cereal. I rarely eat ten French fries. Uh, I may eat a French fry here or there, but I don't eat a lot of French fries. Chips, I rarely eat chips. Uh, half a medium potato. I eat potatoes from time to time. She did say if I eat potatoes to keep the skins on them because there's a lot of nutrition in the skins. Um, a half a cup of dried beans or peas cooked. Um, they are healthy and they're good. They're a good protein also. Uh, half a cup of green peas, half a cup of corn, three cups of popped popcorn. So these are all things that are on my diet. These are things that I am allowed to eat. This is what the nutritionist gave me. This is my sheet. And it's saying avoid snacking after dinner, consume sugar-free beverages, which I do because I drink water, include protein at every meal and if you snack. So that's the diet my nutritionist gave me. I know that there are some of you out there that question the way I eat. Um, when I say I'm eating like a red beans and rice or something like that, I'm not eating 12 servings of it. You know what I'm saying? I'm eating a small portion of it because I am allowed beans and I'm allowed rice. Beans are a good protein and rice, I have to have three to four servings of carbs at every meal. And I'm supposed to eat three times a day. I don't because my lunch, well normally this is my lunch, so I do have some carbs in here. My breakfast is protein. It's eggs and it's grapefruit. So grapefruit, that's a fruit that had, does have a serving of carbs in there, but it's sugar-free. It's, it's in a sugar-free um, juice, I guess. Um, there's no sugar in it, zero sugar added. So I am watching my sugars on that. But she said I could eat eggs as much as I wanted. I don't have a cholesterol problem and she said eggs are good for me. So that is why I eat the way I eat. I just wanted to kind of clear that up because um, I'm not going to change that. May I, I may try to eat more vegetables unnecessarily. Are they going to be green vegetables? No, because not all the vegetables on my list are green. I can have... Um, I can have cauliflower, I can have carrots, I can have all of those other vegetables that are healthy too. Uh, I can have um, onions and, and, and I'm going to eat the vegetables that I like to eat because that way I know I'm going to eat vegetables. So, and I love cucumbers, but you know, do you consider those a green vegetable? I would not say, you know, what's a green vegetable? Cucumbers, I wouldn't consider them a green vegetable. Anyway, I just want to kind of clarify that again for everybody out there who is saying I'm not eating correctly to lose weight. I'm not eating to lose weight. I'm eating, I'm pushing myself a little bit to lose weight, but I'm eating to lower my A1Cs again. Um, and I'm, I'm eating to try not to gain weight. I'm monitoring and I'm loving it when I see a loss, but I don't want to see a gain. I, I want to make sure that if I do have a gain that I correct that and bring it back down to where it was because I don't want to get back in the 190s again. I want to try to maintain healthy, something in the 180s, which I'm in 183 right now, or something in the 170s, which I have to work very hard to maintain a weight in the 170s because of my bone structure. And I want to be able to walk and I want to be able to explore and I want to be able to do all those fun things in life um, and not struggle. And I want my clothes to fit me and not be tight and, and everything that everybody else wants. So I just wanted to clarify that one more time and explain my diet to you and why I eat the way I eat. Um, I will, if you want me to track every piece of celery and every carrot I put in my mouth or every piece of cauliflower, you do see cauliflower in my halls. How often do you see cauliflower on my diary? I don't write it down because it's a, it's a zero 
food. You know what I'm saying? It has, I don't drip, dip it in, um, in ranch dressing or anything. I just eat it plain I just, because I, that's how I like it. So there's no extra calories there. There's really no calories there because it really doesn't have a lot of calories in it. But it is a healthy vegetable. So I do eat it. There's a bird outside my window. Um, but I just wanted to clarify that. So here's my weight. I'm gonna give me my weigh in right before. We're gonna leave for vacation on Friday. So this would be my weight for Thursday. It's Thursday morning. We are leaving out tomorrow morning, Friday morning at uh, 3 a.m. So today is my final weigh in before the cruise. And I started my week on Monday at 183.4 and this morning I weighed in at 182.2 which is giving me a loss of 1.2 for these four days. And 182.2 is the lowest weight I've been at yet since I've started this uh, journey uh, to lose some weight. And, and I started at uh, 211 when I first started tracking I'm down to 182.2. This is a comfortable weight for me. If I didn't get any lower than this, I would be happy. I know I'm going to gain a little on the cruise, but it's going to come back out. But I'd really like to be in the 170s. So I would be happy with five to 10 more pounds. Like I was saying before, um, five to 10 more pounds that would make me very happy, but I don't want to get any lower than that. So this is pretty much, I'm in the, in the phase of maintaining what I have, still eating healthy and controlling my A1Cs. So I am going to continue to track because if I don't track, I'm going to gain and I don't want to gain. Uh, I may have a little gain here or there, but I'm going to take it back off. I'm determined to, uh, try to stay in this range or five to ten pounds lighter uh 170 i can't i haven't been under 170 since i was a teenager so i'm never going to do that uh, it's just not with my body structure and, and my bone density i'm, I'm not going to be able to do that so this is my happy weight so thank you all for watching Give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not subscribed and you want to, and uh, remember, it's all about the adventure. Let's go on an adventure. <laughs> Catch you in a little bit. Bye now.